Tim, your museum has a, uh, a, a very much in process restoration of a, a Bell 47G underway. This 47H is much more nearly finished looking and you've done something interesting with the paint and out, outward decor of this. Tell us about this machine and where you think it might have come from. This machine came from the Niagara, Niagara Aerospace Museum in Buffalo. Uh, as part of a deal, we restored one and returned it to them, and then they gave us this one to do as we've done with it. It's a 47H model, which were very rare. They made approximately 33 helicopters. This one is painted to look just like Larry Bell's personal helicopter. He decided that the corporate world needed a helicopter that could fly from the airport to the office and avoid the traffic, and that was in 1955. So this is what they came up with. It's based on the G model. The dynamics are the same. Larry did not, was not a pilot, so he didn't need the cyclic and collective on his side of the helicopter, and so there's a footrest on his side of the helicopter. What are the ma major differences between the G and the H model? What changed? I mean, obviously, not many H's were made, so it's kind of hard to say. Well, this, this was intended to be more of a corporate type rather than a utility type. This is a monocoque tail on this machine. It has a baggage compartment, put your briefcase in. And like I said, it was just to make a hop from here to there and for business pur purposes rather than a crop duster or something of that sort. Now, this one has a Lycoming engine in it. Was that a difference that was delineated by the model, or did they have Franklins and Lycomings in either one? That was what we found. That was, how, that was what was given to us, so that's what we put in. This probably is a preferred engine. It's a little more powerful than the Franklin, so that's what we came up with. It looks like Mid-Continent did a nice job restoring the panel in this. You want to talk about programs like that, and do you have any other needs like that? We have certainly have needs like that. Mid-Continent from California is an excellent group of men there that we took our old instrument panel out that was really cruddy, and we sent it to them, and they brought it, to, or they sent it back, and it looks like brand new. And they're also working on our 47G model panel, so we're anxious to get that and, and see what they come up with on it. But uh, excellent group of people, and it was beyond our scope to do something of that sort. Aero TV is brought to you by... Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidine's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer.